For Nadem, without being Manchester City biased, which manager would he prefer to play for in the Premier League if he's playing now? So you can't say City, don't say Pep. Mm. Klopp. Which, which manager outside of City? Um, I guess I would say Thomas Tuchel in this. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. At, um, at the best. I would say I'd say Jurgen Klopp because he's, he's somebody who's very very passionate. You know he gets his team to play in a high energy way. And, you know the the run that they the runs they can go on in terms of being unbeaten and so on is special. And I think if it wasn't for City, they would have won maybe a couple more titles in the years gone by. So I think I'd say him because he made that team very very special. But you know just in that particular moment, it wasn't enough domestically. So I'd say uh, yeah, I'd say I'd say Jurgen Klopp. Nadem, how weird is it to cheer for Team GB in the Olympics and not just England? Gotta be odd. Can't imagine all <laughs> of a sudden cheering along with Mexico and Canada. Uh, no, do you know what? It's, it's not that odd, just because maybe you're the same as me, Dan. Like, when you watch the Olympics, you're used to cheering on GB anyway. Mm. You know, the GB football thing is a new entity, but this sentiment of supporting Great Britain is something which you've probably done for the duration of your life whilst you've been watching Olympic Games. And I don't necessarily tune into the Olympic Games just to watch football. You know, I'm more so like a track and field guy. Yeah. You know, and other things like that. Maybe it's gymnastics and so on. So it feels, it feels fine. But it's just a shame that, say, the, the male side of things can't do what the women are doing and actually put a team out. Because, you know, ultimately, as I say, it'd be another team which you can get behind and hope for the best. You know, maybe even, you know, give them a chance of winning a gold medal or winning something at the national level. Oh, no, Stevie Field. Sorry? Never mind you, Englishman. I want to yes. know what Stevie feels about Team GB. Yeah, I'd be intrigued, given his England hatred. We know what Craig would think. Yes. Yeah, he's not bothered. Uh, final question. What are their favourite desserts? My favourite oh. desserts? Do you know what I had when I was with Frank? Creme brulee without the brulee. Which is fantastic. You had creme? Yeah. Creme was good. Why didn't you just say creme? So mm. is it just custard? Just you just had creme. custard? Exactly, but it was good custard. Why burn the top of it? Fantastic. <laughs> Bread and uh, butter pudding. Really? With with creme brulee with all the creme. Yeah, a bit custard. With all the brulee. Bit creme brulee. Yeah. Like, yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the poshest way of saying custard. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, <laughs> you you went there. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I'd go for. Really? Yeah. Wow. Sticky toffee pudding. Change. Right. Sticky toffee pudding. Yes. Yes. Over bread and yes. butter pudding. Right. Yes. Sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. With custard. Hot custard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Nadem yes. is excited yes. as well. Look at him. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I remember actually having that with you in the house. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank oh. you, Father. <laughs> Nadem, what are you going for? <laughs> I'm going for exactly oh, that. You can't go I, for I was same. hoping he was going to say it. Yes. And I'll be specific. Cartmel sticky toffee pudding. 10 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.